and friends this is Sarah and Eve and it's December it's of 2020 December. so we're wrapping up this year and we thought we'd give you some gift ideas for either your fountain pen friends or things that you could suggest if people are looking to get you something so we have 12 gift ideas that range from eight dollars to a hundred dollars and a hundred dollars um, so let's get started. So we're gonna go from cheapest to most expensive. Okay. So just so that you don't spend our, too much money. Yeah, our first idea is at eight dollars. If you have Prime shipping on Amazon, you can get this um, large um, black and red notebook, and everyone can always use paper. Um, and this is great paper for fountain pens. It's thick and semi-coated. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't bleed through, and I've been really happy with it. And it seems like a really good deal for only, only $8. It's a case-bound notebook with 96 sheets of paper in it, and it's 8 and a quarter inches by 11 and 3 quarters inches. Um, they have um, spiral-bound ones, but they have like a little printing in the corner of each of the pa pages, and I thought this was nicer with all just, um, you know, they don't have any printing here in the corner, and it's lined paper, and it doesn't bleed through, as you can see. It's really, really nice. Yeah. Okay. And my mom uses it. Yeah, I've a been lot. using it, and I think it's, it's a really good deal. All right, so our next idea is for $10 on Amazon, you can get um, 50 plastic ink vials and you could fill them up with samples of inks that you have in your collection like to give to your friends. Mine. So if you already have um, vials then it would be even cheaper than that if you've bought samples in the past and emptied them um, and just put on your own labels and clean yeah, them we, out. We, we make our own labels. Yeah, so we have sent sent out samples yeah, to our friends. Yeah, so if, if, if you've gotten one of our samples, you can know that we have our our own little labels that we put on. Yep. Each one. And so that makes a good gift, and if you already have a bunch of inks that you're willing to share, um, that's a really good idea. Yeah. All so right. the inks could be the gift. <laughs> so number three on our list is for $12 on Etsy, you can get a tilt well tilted ink well bottle stand. So this helps if you only have a little bit of ink left in your bottle and you need to tip it while filling your pen instead of holding um, instead of holding the bottle in your hand, it this can hold your bottle for you so you can use both of your hands for filling your pen. And this was designed and um, printed out on a 3D printer by Bob, who has a channel on YouTube. It's called Old Guy, um, and he has really great videos, too. So um, he designed this so that it fits a lot of different bottles. So there's the Roshizuku bottle, and here's the Diamine bottle, and they all fit really well in there. And you can pick what color of these you want. There's some that cost $12 and some that cost $14. They're, that's the cost for them on sale this month only so if you want to get one i'd say get one get, this month yeah get one um they go yeah. up by a few dollars um regular price but i'm really happy with this and yeah um, and mom, mom really got useful. mom got a gold one but you can get different colors yeah so i suggested i saw he had some other products there what made this with this gold plastic and i asked if he could make one in gold and so he did so that was really nice that i got one in a color that I liked, but he has other colors on there yeah, as well. Yeah, so you can you you don't have to get just gold yeah, if so you're not a gold fan. I'm gonna list everything in um, the description of the video, but this is called a tilt well, and he has some other things that he is um, 3D so printed. So look at his look in the description well. to get. Okay, um, and fourth on our list for twenty dollars, you could buy. Um, a new nib for a pen. So if somebody has a pen where you can either like twist off the whole nib section or pull or friction fit or if it has a friction fit nib, um, you can have like 
an upgrade to the nib that's on it already. If it's a Chinese pen, it has like a scratchy nib. You can get a nice um, stainless steel nib from many different vendors, mm -hmm. um, such as like Anderson pens or Goulet pens. They all have their own nibs that you can buy, those standard number six um, steel nibs. Or if you want just to have a variety of nib widths, instead of upgrading, you know, say you're happy with the nib, but you wish that you had it in like fine or medium or broad, as well as what you already have, that would be a good idea. So nibs are our fourth thing on the list. Yeah, so nibs. Um, at number five, we have um, for 20 to $40 on um, Etsy or Van Ness or lots of different places, lots. you can buy, um, like a leather pen sleeve or pen case. So I got this Girologio soft leather pen case engraved with my name um, on, from Van Ness. Um, and that's a three pen sleeve, but they have other sizes. Mm -hmm. um, this one is a quiver, so it fits over your notebook cover and holds a pen. But this um, one doesn't, and this, on, this one isn't a quiver. Yeah. On Etsy, there's a lot of handmade ones and different color leathers that are really beautiful. Um, so that's always a good idea. Yeah. So um, if, if someone you know has a lot of pens but nowhere to keep them, this would be a good idea. Yep. So our sixth thing, for $45 on Etsy, um, you can get from John at Firebird Box Studios, if you write Firebird Box Studio, Studio all as without spaces between them, all as one word, you will find John's website on Etsy. The, and he, he upcycles cigar boxes into pen boxes. Yeah. So and here's a small it, one. And, and it has, it has like one of those velvet, velvet color, covered, like flocked plastic trays inside. And he's like refinished the outside of the box really nicely. Some of them have like, pictures on the top. Some, some of them some are have, just plain like this that have like a little window in it. Little he will see even, all your pens. if you have something in particular that you'd like him to put on the box, he will do um, like commissions. So that, that would cost a little bit more, but I've had a commission done by him and he's really wonderful to work with. Yeah. So, okay, so thank you. number seven, at $50, you could get an ultrasonic cleaner. So we've had this one for a long time. It's made for cleaning glasses. That's the shape of it, but it fits fountain pens really well. And, you know, as long as your pen isn't made out of casein or something that disintegrates in water or gets hung by water, um, that is really useful for cleaning out dried ink in your pen or in the caps of your pens or things like that. So that's a useful tool for, for fountain that's pen That's the inside. Yep. All right. So our eighth thing, also for $50, mm -hmm. you could get a pen repaired or tuned. So if your um, pen isn't writing as well as you would like, or maybe your trim rings are falling off or whatever, like, you know, obviously the prices vary, but um, you can get a pen tuned for $50 and make it even better. Yeah. So that's a great idea. So you could check out Mike Masuyama at MikeItWork.com. Mike or it work. Ron, it's Mike it work. Yeah, and, or Ron Zorn at MainStreetPens.com. And there's a lot of other ones, but I think that would be a great gift. Um, number nine is for $55 on Etsy, you could get a leather notebook cover. So this yeah, one was a vintage nice. one that I got, um, but there's also handmade ones. That, I mean, this one's handmade, but like newly handmade ones, um, you can get a good deal on a vintage one. Um, what, what about the paper? Well, this is an enig enig Enigma notebook. Sorry, I can't speak. But <laughs> can't um, speak. I checked and they are not... Um, they're, they're also on Etsy, but they're not up for business until January. So for this month, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't work out. But if you already have notebooks that would fit in a cover, um, a notebook cover is a really good gift. Yeah. Um, and number 10, 
So another useful thing that you can find on Etsy, either vintage or um, newly handmade, are wooden clipboards. So this is a vintage one that I got, and mine has a little drawer in it, but there's also ones that are just, you know, a flat piece of wood that sometimes they're really beautiful with different types of wood um, put together. And this is useful for, you know, if you, if the person who you're getting the gift for um, likes to write when they're sitting on the couch or in their bed, then it gives them a nice hard surface to write on. So and that you don't have to write on a book. Yeah, so you don't have to write on a book. Cause um, so yeah. our number 11 idea is for $65 on paperpastries.com, you can have Margaret design you a custom pet return address stamp. So that's actually what I'm getting for Christmas. Um, we're having a stamp design that's going to look like this and have really nice calligraphy with our um, address and our names and address in this area. Um, they have some that are already designed, um, or you can send them your pet's picture and Margaret will design you um, sort of like a, like a silhouette of your pet. And so this part is black and then the writing, um, it doesn't get stamped so it's left white here. And this is a great idea for people who like using their fountain pens for, like, sending pen pal letters and, you know, anyone who likes writing letters, that's a really good idea. And our twelfth idea, our last idea, um, for, like, a hundred dollars or less, you can get a really nice vintage gold nib pen. And I know a lot of people haven't gotten into vintage pens yet, but that would be a really nice gift for someone who, you know, might be afraid to get into vintage pens just, you know, as a gift. Um, I'm sure they'd enjoy trying one out. This is one of my favorite pens in my collection. It's a wasp clipper, and I got that for $100, and it's it's a really great pen. Yeah. So, you know, and for something with a gold nib, you can get some really good deals on eBay. Um, so that's my last idea. Now, something I was excited about is I got a catalog from Goldspot Pens, and this is the first time I ever got a catalog for fountain pens in the mail. So I thought we'd go through maybe five pages, and Eve and I would pick out what we would buy from each page just for fun. So we're, we're not gonna actually. No, we're not. Okay. It's gonna be like virtual shopping, okay? Like yeah. window shopping. So here's one page. It's got a Platinum 3776, a Diplomat Arrow, Faber-Castell Hexo, Pelican Classic 205, Parker Jotter XL, um, a Penider Avatar UR, Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini, and a Caveco Frosted Sport. So of these pens, Eve, which one? Do you think you would want to get? Let me look at the Can you look at it in the view screen there? Um, Do you want to look like this? Yeah. I, I would want this one. The Parker Jotter is what she chose. So a classic pen, very classic looking pen. I actually already have this one, mm -hmm. but yeah. So I guess. That's what I would choose right there. I already have it, but that's a really good pen. Um, it's just a steel nib pen, but it, um, especially at the medium, is a really nice nib. Um, so, yeah, the one I chose is $156. The one Eve chose is actually $27.20. Well, that one is a ballpoint, so that's all right. <laughs> it's not a fountain <laughs> pen, oh no! no. My dad would choose because he doesn't like fountain pens. So here's some like new designs here. The Laban Le 300, got the Laban 325, Laban Galileo, the Benno Briolet, the Benno Tattoo, and the Benno Scepter. So which one of these would you choose, Eve? 
is it all on this page? Well, either of these pages. Um, what do you think? I would do the one of the Love on three twenty five. Okay. Ones. So you. I would do this. the purple. Oh, this purple one right here. That's what she chose. And I like. I don't know. Let's see. I think I would choose. I'm interested in these um, Bennu scepter pens. They have a lot of colors of these, other than the ones that they're, they're showing here. But I guess of the ones that they're showing, I would choose this one. Yeah, that that looks really like. Really so cool. the one one that Eve chose, that costs a hundred and three dollars. Mm -hmm. And the one That's I chose cost $88. So I, I, I would have spent more money. Yeah. All right. Let's just do one more page. Yeah, because this is taking a lot yeah, of time. Is, I just thought this would be fun at the end of this. Um, all right. So on these pages, we've got the Benno Chameleon, the Laban Abalone, the Conklin Mark Twain Crescent Filler Rainbow. The Retro 51 Tornado Fountain Pen. The Diplomat Arrow Flame, which I know um, is not aluminum. I think that one's a steel one, so it's more expensive than their usual ones. More expensive. And the Diplomat Traveler Flame. And Fisher Space Pen Bullet Rainbow. So they've sort of got a rainbow theme going on here. Rainbows. And the Quebeco Lily Put Fire Blue. I think Fire we'll just choose from, from this page here. I I would do this that one. one. That, yeah. That's the Conklin Mark Twain Crescent Filler in the rainbow. rainbow. That's really pretty. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. I would choose this one, the Laban Abalone. Oh, yeah. But before I saw that one, I was thinking of choosing that. Yeah, that's really, because that's like natural materials that they use on that one. It's really pretty. Yeah, it looks so, like wood. The one that I chose cost $207, and the one Eve chose cost $179. So right. I'm saving more money. So I hope you enjoyed this um, gift guide, and I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season. Yeah. And this is probably our last um, video for this year. We started making videos back in January, so it's been about almost a year of making videos. Yeah. So thank you to everyone who subscribed to our channel and left comments thank and you likes. Thank so much. And we hope that you have a great rest of the 2020. Thank it's been really you. rough. We've been, um, you know, dealing with it. Um, it's been a lot rougher for other people. Um, and we hope that you all do well and that 2021 will be better. Yeah. Okay. Bye, can, can friends. We, can we show Como? No, we're not going to show Como. Let's just say bye. Okay. Bye. bye.